Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and this is the weekly ranking show where we go through all the ATP and WTA rankings for the week. And it's coming to the end of the season for the WTA and also coming to the end of the regular season for the ATP. And we have some massive changes on both of the rankings. Well, let's start with the past results. We've only got one result to speak of because the WTA finals still hasn't finished their final between Sabalenka and Garcia. But let's go have a look at the result from Paris last week. So only one tournament last week on the ATP and it was the Paris Masters and Holger Runa causing the massive upset against Novak Djokovic. 3-6, 6-3, 7-5 to lift his first ATP 1000 trophy. He also beat four other top 10 players along the way, including Alcaraz and Eliasim. So a big week for Runa and he got rewarded in the rankings. Let's start with the WTA rankings now and these are not finalized yet because it does come down to the final between Garcia and Sabalenka and the winner of that match will get a boost. So let's start with the top here with Fiontech at number one. Her birthday is at number two. Pagula at three. But Coco Goff, she goes down three spots to number seven after a poor week in the WTA finals, losing all her matches. And Garcia goes up two spots into that number four spot for now. As I said, it depends on that final against Sabalenka. So put a little asterisk next to that. Zachary goes down from five to six and Sabalenka goes into that number five spot. So both Sabalenka and Garcia the winner of that match in the final of the WTA Finals will be the number four, and the other player will be number five. So they're playing for that ranking. But even though Sakari had a great week, she still goes down one spot from last week. So it's a bit of a shame for Sakari, but she did make the semifinals last year, so she didn't really gain any points. Coming in at number eight is Kazakina, who added 500 points to her title. So she puts a little bit of a gap between her and Kudamatova. Kudamatova comes in at nine, and Simona Halep comes in at number 10. Let's go over the ATP rankings now and some big changes to the men's rankings. Not at the top though. Alcaraz, he stays at number one despite not playing for the rest of the season. Rafa comes in at number two, but Daniel Medvedev, he drops down Two spots to number five, making way for City Pass, who goes up to number three. Kasper Rude is sandwiched in at number four in the middle there. And you can see Medvedev at five. But we have another change with Alexander Zverev dropping out of the top 10 completely after not being able to play Paris and also the ATP Finals. So he's dropped out of the top 10, six spots lower than last week, making way for FAA, who's gone up to number six, which is a career high for him. Rublev goes up to seven, two spots higher than last week, pushing Djokovic down to number eight because, of course, Djokovic lost all the points that he made in Paris last year and couldn't win the title this year, so he dropped a lot of points. And Taylor Fritz, he gets back in the top 10, jumping into the number nine spot, two spots higher than last week. Thanks to Zverev falling out of the top 10. And Holger Runa, he goes in to the number 10 spot, eight spots higher than last week, pushing Hubi Hercatch out of the top 10. And of course, that's a career high for him. So Holger Runa to finish the season top 10 player with a huge trophy, and he beat five of those top 10 players from last week. Having a look at the race of the finals now, and it's a little bit messy, but we'll go through it as best we can. So let's start with the big news. Carlos Alcaraz, he is out of the ATP finals, so he is off this list. So he is gone, effectively withdrawn from the tournament, meaning that everyone gets to go up one spot. So Nadal is now number one. City Pass is number two, Rude is three, Medvedev at four, Felix Ogialiasim at five, Rublev at six, Djokovic at seven, and Taylor Fritz now is qualified for the finals. He was number nine, he now goes up to number eight, and he qualifies for the ATP finals. And down the very bottom, we have Holger Runa. He is now the first alternate. So Fritz was the first alternate with her catch, but now it's Runa who got a massive boost, winning Paris, nine spots higher than last week. He goes up to number nine, and Hubi Hercatch will be the second alternate at number 10. So a big change to the rankings. On Tuesday, we brought a video out, and it was all said and done. But with that Alcaraz news, Taylor Fritz gets to play. With Holger Runa winning the tournament in Paris, he might even play if someone else pulls out during the event. Let's go have a look at the players that have gone up in the rankings this week outside of the ATP because some players did play well in Paris. Tommy Paul. After beating Rafa and making it all the way to the quarterfinals, he goes up two spots to number 29 in the world. And Mute, he goes up 13 spots as a qualifier in Paris to number 51 in the world. Career high for him. Had an excellent week. Ended up losing a City Pass, but he had a very good week and got rewarded. The players that went down in the rankings, the players that played well here last year, Yannick Sinner, he goes down three spots lower to number 15 in the world. And Gaston, he dropped 48 spots down to 132 in the world. The final changes in the rankings outside the top 10, and there were some big movers. There you have it. They are the rankings for the end of the season, and we still have the ATP Finals, so they will be getting some changes in the top 10, but outside the top 10, everything should be said and done until the start of next season. Uh, we've got the next-gen Finals on next week. That's worth no ranking points. So besides that, 
Challenger events will be kind of thrown around, so maybe some low-ranked players can get some extra points there, but no ATP official events until the AGP Finals. But let me know down in the comments below. Are you shocked at the Finals race now? Because I'm going to be honest, Taylor Fritz getting in, he got very lucky. He had a bad week in Paris, and he really shot himself in the foot by losing early in Paris. He got a second chance because of Alcaraz. So with Paris done, that's the regular season over. ATP Finals, last event of the year.